Well, hi guys. I am uh, doing the video here to announce the winner for the survival machete. And this is what it looks like finished. I've got the strap to it done up with Velcro because I got to wrap it um, with uh, bubble wrap and then stick it in the box. I'm shipping this in the very box that it came in. So uh, I'll be sending this out. And I chose the winner for this knife because this gentleman took out the time to make a video just for this knife and showed all his gear or the majority of his gear and actually set up everything outside and did quite a long video, a 20 minute video. And I will leave the link to his video down below so you guys can see the video that he made. Um, to win this knife and the winner of this knife goes to chud 327 who is in florida and uh, i wanted to say thank you chud for making the video taking out the time to actually um show some of your gear and also um demonstrate some different uh, survival skills i truly appreciate the time that you took and the effort to uh win this knife and that's why you were chose. So I thank you so much for that. And uh, it's not a requirement for um, after winning this knife for anybody. It's just that I was wanting to ask that if you could, uh, you don't have to, but if you could, Chud, when you receive this knife, if you could uh, please do a review of it. It's not a requirement. I just, I just think it would be cool to see someone review something that i put together i think um not only i would enjoy to see what your honest opinion of this survival machete is but i think that my audience would also like to see um what someone else does with this and and put it through the test and stuff like that so if you wouldn't mind doing something like that that would be cool but you by no means do you have to do that not at all it's not a requirement um you won the knife for uh the video you made and showing some of your uh, um, supplies and all of that. And I truly, truly do appreciate that. So uh, thank you so much. And congratulations to Chud327. So uh, I'll be having a video coming up on the winner um, drawing announcement for the bag, um, that uh, Go Odium rucksack. And uh, so I'll be announcing the winner for that as well. And uh, Give me um, a day or two to uh, get this sent out to you, Chud. And once I get this sent out to you, once I get back from the post office, I will email you with a USPS um, tracking number so you can track this knife all the way to your front door. It's just that I've got a couple doctor's appointments I have to get to first. I have to have that MRI tonight at 7.30. And, uh, so, and I got to take a medication before it so it makes me relax because i have severe claustrophobia and i hope they're not going to make me wear a mask in that i'm not going to be able to wear a mask in the mri i just uh not it's not going to happen um i won't be able to breathe so uh <clears throat> i i don't like those things um and then once the mri is uh, i get the disc which they'll get me to right there following the the test um, then it's contacting the surgeon and, and setting up an appointment with him so he can review this disc as well as the previous disc from three years ago to see how much of a change there's been between the two in the last three years. And then it will be probably him scheduling surgery. I don't know. And if I have this surgery, uh, it's a long surgery. It's a dangerous surgery. Uh, it's risky. And I would be in the hospital for a couple to three days which would suck just laying in a bed out in the hospital, you know? Um, but that's the way it goes. Uh, I've lived with this pain for 21 years and I'm don't want to live with it anymore. So anyway, um, that's what I got to do. So once I get these appointments out of the way, I'll get this, I'll send it out this week. So don't worry. It'll be the latest by Friday. So it'll be sent out this week to you and you will get it soon. So, um, congratulations to Chud 327. So this is an awesome knife, and I really hope that you enjoy it. And uh, it's a hell of a survival tool, let me tell you that. And it still has the factory plastic on the blade like it comes. I did not peel that off. That's something you would have to do is peel off the plastic protective coating and then wipe the oil off the blade because that's how they come. 
So I left that on there. Um, and I haven't done anything to the blade itself. It's right. It's sharpened right from the factory. So if you want to put a different edge on it, that's up to you. Um, this is all factory except for what I added to it. So thanks for watching you guys. Um, I'll be having another one coming up for the rucksack and, uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.